What's up guys, Anton here from Dropship Lifestyle. And I know after being like super consistent for I think like six months or so, getting out a, a video at least one every week, it's been a while. And uh, I just wanna say I have a good excuse and uh, definitely, you know, coming back and now I'm kind of like set up again. So for those of you that maybe don't like, you know, check Facebook or Instagram or even our Facebook group, uh, maybe you're not aware of this, but I'm currently living in New York City. I'm in Manhattan and I'm here for, well, three months I think total. And I came here because I'm from New York. I love New York. I wanted to spend the summer here, but I also wanted to have a chance to actually like kind of get used to this city again and to take a chance for my wife and I and for our baby to go around, spend the weekend, spend our free time checking out some open houses because we're considering purchasing a second place here. That way when the weather doesn't suck and when it's not snowing and when it's not gray for, you know, 15 hours a day, uh, we can, uh, you know, spend some time in New York because we both love Manhattan. Now that kind of, you know, wasn't something that I was planning on talking about on Dropship Weekly or on YouTube or anything, but I wanted to because because I was just watching another YouTube video from uh, Steve Harvey, who's the man, if you, you know, don't ever watch any of his videos, um, I'll link to it below this video. And it was like just a motivational video that he made. And yes, I'm talking about that guy that hosts like 50 TV shows, but uh, it was like a motivational video where someone was interviewing him and he was talking about exposure, right? And why you need to expose yourself to different things. And it's funny because it connected with me on tons of different levels. Now, one of them is, you know, again, the reason I'm here right now, right? The reason I'm in New York. Again, it's so I can enjoy it, so I can get used to the city again, but it's also so that we can be in these apartments, right? When I'm on Zillow.com and I see these different open houses, I wanna actually be able to go there and be part of it because you know that's how things change, right? It's not enough to just be there on the computer looking at open houses and being like, oh, maybe that one looks cool. No, I wanna be there, I wanna be in the house, I wanna be speaking to the realtors, I wanna expose myself to it to make it real and to kind of giving it a chance to happening a chance of happening, I should say. And don't worry, I'm gonna tie this to, to e-commerce and your dropshipping store. But I, I wanted to just give you like kind of the example that he gave and then the way I see it in business. Now, the way he was talking about it is flying first class, right, or, or business class. Um, and it just resonated with me so much because if you've never flown business or first class before, once you do it, right, like once you expose yourself to that, it's, you can't go back. Like you cannot go back to coach. Obviously, if you lose all your money and something happens and you have to, you, you know, you do what you got to do, but your mindset is so different. Like, and I know this too, from, from me personally, like when I was younger and I just started to make money and I was just out of college, I would fly coach and I would walk through business class and first class. And I'd always think like, yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't look that good. Right. But they close that curtain and they do it for a reason. And the reason is because it is that good. Once I finally started to, you know, make enough money and started to build tons of credit card points from my dropshipping businesses, then I was able for my first time to upgrade myself and to fly in first class. And I realized what was I thinking, right? And again, before I was ever there, it wasn't like, I, I didn't think it was that great, but once I did it, I realized how great it was. And since then, you know, I'll fly coach, like if I, if there's like an emergency and I got to go somewhere last minute and that's what's available, but I have never, you know, went back because I, I was part of it because I experienced it because I exposed myself to it because I had that opportunity once. Now, it's not the same, you know, in this example of just, again, walking past business and first class, which I have done probably a hundred times before I ever sat there because you walk past and it's one thing, but once you experience it and once you're exposed to it, then it becomes real, right? So this is the same thing with, you know, learning and education with, let's say, for example, you're watching this right now, right? And you're watching it because you want to build a drop shipping business or you are building a drop shipping business. It's not enough just to get the education. So if like you're going through my videos, that's that's amazing and that's a great first start, but that's not enough. You're gonna be so much better off once you actually expose yourself and are around people with the stores and the levels that you wanna to get to, and more importantly, which I'll get to, once you get there yourself and have your first taste of it, right? Once it makes it real. Like you could see behind me, there's just tons of tons of books here. And like I could read all these books on travel um, up top, but like I could read like 500 pages on India and on you know Paris, but until I'm there, there until I'm spending a couple of weeks, I don't have it like ingrained in me what it's really like. I didn't have it in me like what first class was until I was there. And all these books, you know, I could read through them, I could look at photos, but that's just, that stuff that kind of goes in your brain and out back. 
like right out the back, but once you're exposed to it, it sticks in, it's locked in, it changes you as a person, and it makes really your drive and what you normalize a lot you know, a lot higher. It's, it uh, sets the bar, like it raises the bar. So if you've never, you know, that example, ever f for, uh, flown first class or business class, my advice is save up some money and do it because it's gonna motivate you to work a lot higher and that's gonna be your new bar. Now, another example I wanted to, to give about this, right, and just being exposed to, to different situations is, you know, if you are watching this and you grew up or you're growing up even in like a, a lower income family or even an average middle class family, then, you know, that, that's that's me. I mean, I'm from like maybe upper middle class, but my dad was a butcher, my mom did inside sales, so we weren't wealthy at all, uh, but, you know, comfortable, I was totally fine. But like that lifestyle, you know, when I was younger and I was growing up, like, you can like look and all my friends could look in on TV and see shows about rich people. You could see, you know, the magazines that show all these fancy homes, but it wasn't real, right? Because it's just something you see. And again, it, it goes kind of in and out of your mind. But I know I was lucky here. One, and I've mentioned this a bunch of times, but one of my uncles is a successful entrepreneur. He, uh, you know, not the wealthiest guy in the world by any means, but he built something for himself, became very successful. He owns, you know, two really nice homes, has, you know, the sports cars that he wants, has a bunch of boats and from a young age I remember going to his house and actually being there right like and looking around and that made it real I was exposed to this so that like that raised my bar and again you know it's not what I was born into it's my dad's brother so I guess I, I mean I was born into it but not directly I'm not his kid obviously but going there and seeing it set for me that bar of like oh this is real now I see it right I'm not just looking in a magazine I don't just see lifestyles of the rich and famous on TV but I was exposed to it so it made it real it set the bar higher for myself. So uh, there's a bunch of ways you could do this for yourself too. And I do wanna say uh, that this can work both ways, right? There are some things that you probably like shouldn't expose yourself to. And if you think about it with things like some like, you know, hardcore drugs, right? Like there's plenty of drugs that whatever are fun, recreational, but then there's some things that once people do and once they expose themselves to, there's almost no going back, right? So think about like all the people, especially in New York and Long Island where I'm from, that like are addicted to pain pills right now and heroin and stuff like that. You know, you could read about it all day and not get addicted, but once you expose yourself to it, once you have that feeling inside you, then most people are kind of screwed, right? Which sucks, but that's reality. It's that exposure. So you want to put yourself in as many places as possible that can raise your bar and obviously stay away from as many as possible that are just going to lower it and make your new normal uh, a pretty crappy one. Now, another thing that this can like kind of do for you, and this is funny, I'll, I'll show you guys around really quick. So uh, the place I'm in right now is actually a sublet. I subletted it for three months. Um, um, and it's it's better than I thought it would. Not a luxury apartment at all. Let me flip this around, but it's huge for Manhattan, right? So um, like this down here is the entryway and like, you know, so a long, long, long entryway, have just like a big closet there, have one, you know, pretty good sized bathroom in here. And then you come in to the home, uh, to the main living part of the home, and you know, it's just, it's this is for Manhattan. Everyone that lives here or has lived here just knows this is this is massive. We have like, you know, a full bar here, the whole library area, bookshelf here. Um, this is the the living area. So like two sitting areas. We have all my uh, my baby's play stuff set up over here. Um, this, you know, the dining table overlooking like the, the little bar area over here, the, the stools, uh, really nice like kitchen with the awesome gas stove, tons of storage. Again, like for Manhattan, this is crazy. Like little kids table over there. Um, here, this, this chair I'm obsessed with. If anyone's watching this and drop ships these chairs or something similar, send me a link and I'll buy it from your store and ship it to my place in Austin, in Texas, because I, I'm obsessed with this thing. I, I sit here at night and play my uh, Nintendo Switch. It's like the perfect chair for like reading or, or gaming. But uh, yeah, the main thing besides like just the space of, of this apartment is the views, right? So like out here we have, you know, just going out to Manhattan this way. But what I love about it is this area where I'm in. Now, let me see if you could see this. Right outside my apartment or the apartment I'm living in is Washington Square Park. So down here we have the whole park, which is like one of my favorite places to hang out. Got the uh, Empire State Building right out there. For the 4th of July the other night, we had fireworks coming up right over here, over the tower. And um, again, the reason I'm showing you this is because now I exposed myself to this, this place, right? Because this is where I've been living. This is what I'm used to now in Manhattan. And I, I mentioned my wife and I are here because we want to look for a place to, uh, to buy. 
We got another another full bathroom here. By the way, it's a three bedroom, three bathroom. Uh, so so huge, but that's another bedroom. This is uh, the bedroom where my son's staying in. So obviously the family has a, a baby too, but another awesome view out at the park, Empire State Building. And then it has a, oh, there I am, hello. It has a huge, huge master. But uh, yeah, this is the you know huge master bedroom. Huge bathroom in there with a stand-up shower and a bath, and then a lookout, you know, Washington Square Park again with the arch, the fountain. It's just like the, the perfect area. And then a, a big desk in here where I set up a bunch of my computers to uh to get stuff done. So that's where I've been um I've been working. But yeah, this uh this place, right? It's it's rent controlled because it's an NYU building, so New York University, and this is where the law professors get to live. And because of that, I found like this ridiculous deal. Again, like I'm paying like not next to nothing. It's expensive, but when you look around the area, I'm paying nothing. Like a lot lower than literally like I, I can't even comprehend what some people are paying for space this size, even like next door. So amazing value. But with that being said, now I'm exposed to this place and my wife and I have been going to these open houses where we're looking to spend a substantial amount of money. I mean, like a lot of money and I wasn't expecting something huge, but now everything we see that's like in what we allotted for our budget, I'm like, no, we can't, we can't take that. Like, I don't want to live in that little space. No, I don't want that view, right? No, I want, now I want this. Now every apartment I have, I want to be able to see the Empire State Building and I want to be able to see a park and I want to be on a higher floor and I want it to be gorgeous and I want to have a huge kitchen and it's because now I'm exposed to this. Now, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Well, I personally think it's a uh, it's a good thing because now, you know, I'm going to work harder and I'm going to make more money and I'll have a bigger budget and I'll get a bigger place. Um, but, you know, going back to how this can be a downfall, like you don't want to become obsessed with anything, with any material things, but you should get yourself to a point where you could have what you want, I would say. Um, I guess finally to like close this out and bring it back to like what I would say is a popular, uh, an unpopular opinion that I have about e-commerce that a lot of other people don't share is that I want you, again, if you're just starting and you're not making like what you wanna make yet, I want you to try to get your revenue as high as possible and don't make profit margin. And again, this is counterintuitive to a lot, what a lot of people think. Don't make profit margin like your primary focus, okay? Pick your minimum of profit margin because obviously you're not gonna lose money, but let's just say it's, 20%, okay? And you say, I need to net at least 20%, but maybe you want to eventually net 30%, right? So if you do 100,000 in sales, maybe you want to make 30,000 to keep. But let's just say you say, okay, I'm gonna make it no lower than 20, and pick that number and focus at first on top line and growing top line, where your bottom, you know, what you're left with, your net, doesn't go below that 20, but or that 20%. And the reason I want you to do that is because, again, getting comfortable with different types of things, like now I'm comfortable with a big space in Manhattan, and I want you to be comfortable with a big number coming into your business every month. So, you know, I don't know what it is for you, maybe it's 100K, 200K, 300K, 500K in sales, but once you see these numbers coming in, even if your net margin's lower at first, then you could start taking out different expenses and raising your net, but I want you to get comfortable with big numbers because then you'll get familiar with it, then it'll become normal, then you'll be exposed to it, and then that's just your new normal, right? Then that's your new baseline. So I think it's a, a really powerful message, something that again, the, the Steve Harvey video really connected with me. So check out the link. Um, I'll put it in the description of this video so you could see that too. Get his like take on it. He said it in a lot less words than I did, but I wanted to you know, relate it to my life, I guess, uh, because you're watching this channel. So guys, let me know, you know, if there's anything in your life that you've been exposed to either good or bad that has, you know, literally just changed the way you think that's like rewired your brain and what you accept as, as your normal, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. So let me know. And yeah, I'll be in there to interact. And I guess now I'm going to go figure out how to, uh, make some more money to have a bigger budget for an apartment in Manhattan. So I will speak to you all soon, but.